Hi gardeners, and this is an early harvest of a type of bulb onion called Texas Grande. It is a short day onion, and that means it's suitable for growing in the shorter sunlight of the south. Remember, the farther north you go during the summer, the longer the day. So a lot of uh, onions that you see in the store are long day varieties grown in Idaho or in uh, eastern Oregon and Washington State, very far north. So they get 14 plus hours of good strong sunlight a day. These will, are called short day onions and they will grow in the roughly 12 hours we get. Think about really good sunlight around here is probably eight to eight, okay? Seven to seven, you know, the dawn and the uh, evening don't count. But this is a pretty good harvest to give you an idea. There's my hand. So that is just shy, maybe a tennis ball about two and a half inches in diameter then go three to five when they're fully mature and I'll show you some larger ones in the garden right now we wait for the necks to fall over see how these are falling over they're small but the necks are crimping over here too but you can see we have large ones right there that's three inches already. There's another one that's three inches. This is a really good pack of four here. We'll harvest this than this one. Oh, look at that monster here. And he's still very green and straight up. He will be a very large onion right here. I've grown them in groups, I sowed them four to a uh, to a, a seed tray, to a cell, and this one is already coming in nicely. So is this one. So you see, we've got a lot of good ones, and here's one whose neck is just falling over. We could harvest him, let it go for another day or so. Some of the small ones have fallen over early, but we disappointing. But we've had an odd spring this year wasn't as warm as we'd like for it to be. Right next door though, the shallots are really starting to come in. This is a very nice group of shallots. And that's almost ready to pick. Shallots are in the onion family. That's called the allium family. Here we can see some more that are beginning to flesh out. And that is a biggie. They're very good to cook with. Anybody who's ever cooked with shallots will love these. Our potatoes are really showing signs that they want to be pulled. As you can see, yellowing and browning. I think the rest of these will go this weekend. We're going to leave them in as long as we can to try to increase the yield. And over here, we have our first successful butternut squash plant. We've planted a bunch of them, but this is the only one that's really looking good here. We are getting a lot of foliage on our tomatoes, but very few tomatoes so far. Here you're beginning to see the, the grape tomatoes just starting up. We got these in a little later than we would have liked to. Here's our black crim. Developing that cat's face a little bit, but he still looks okay. There is thunder in the background. As you can see, we're getting a fair number of flowers. So we're hoping for pollinators to come in and help do the work. If not, just flick A flower like this. There are two chambers to a tomato flower and when a bee goes around the vibration from the bee wings shakes the pollen from one chamber into the other and that's how it pollinates. So you can do that yourself. Here we're starting to get some summer squash. There's one. These are all male flowers and this one 
we just self-pollinated. I mean, we just uh, artificially pollinated as the rain begins to come down. I will show you over here on the porch how we do that pollination. This is a male flower. And the rain, we got out of it just in time. Now there is the pollen. There we go. Had to put something behind it so the camera would autofocus. Now we just take that and we'll rub it onto the female flower. See how I've just pulled back the leaf here. And that's probably a one time only good thing. Well, you can still see some pollen on it. But we'll leave it out, I don't have much hope. Beets are small but consistent. Beans are still coming in. Once again, we haven't had much rain. This is the first bit. And there's a nice thunderstorm coming. So, relief in the rain department here and we're happy to see it so just because you're farther in the south doesn't mean you can't grow onions you have to find a short day onion and look for that texas grande onion it has a middle name and i've forgotten it right now please forgive me but as you can see they have done very nicely that's really only about a four by five foot section, 20 square feet, and we probably have at least 50 bulbs in there. And 50 bulbs of onions, that's gonna be nice for cooking. All right, everybody, thanks very much. Like, share, and keep gardening. You can grow your own food. Thanks much.